So good morning and happy Friday. Yes, I know my face and my body do not match. My body's tanner than my face. <laughs> but I put self tanner on, but I don't put it on my face. Feeling a bit more refreshed today. The last few days have been kind of a whirl, whirlwind. Um, just getting here, getting settled, uh, kind of stalking the apartment because we're obviously moving into a new place for an extended period of time. Appointments, uh, been pretty exhausted mentally and physically. Um, my emotions, my physical have been like, like this, but I am missing home and the puppies, something fierce today. I uh, kind of woke up a little. Obviously I'm getting emotional right now. <laughs> um, but we are gonna go do a workout this morning, which I'm excited about. It's just gonna feel good. It's like, that is like my release and kind of my therapy. So I'm making some, one of two breakfasts that I'm having this morning. And then we'll get ready and um, go work out and see what the day holds for us. <laughs> We're going to use um, Greek yogurt. So I'm gonna scoop probably about like half half a cup in there. I'm gonna mix almond butter in to the yogurt. It makes it taste kind of like cookie dough in a way. I brought this from home. Cut up an apple, we're gonna throw an apple in there, mix it all together, and enjoy. Okay, I did forget one ingredient, and in it's um, protein powder. Half a scoop of vanilla protein powder. And we'll just um, we'll put it in there just to give it a little flavor. Diet, num. Ta da! Good morning. Good morning. Are you making food? Yes. <laughs> I try it. Huh? My eggs. Whole well, oh, hearty meal. Just take a little bite. That's a, not a little, that's a ton. You could just lick it, I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> it's, it's yogurt and almond butter and protein mixture. <laughs> I think it's good, but it's not. Reminds me of like pudding. Kind of dip, yeah. yogurt dip in a way. Yeah. I like to do this little ice sphere in the mornings after I wash my face. That's so good. Like wakes you up. It reduces um your pores too. It brightens your face a little bit too. Tightens it. It's like morning coffee for your face. Okay, I gotta turn you guys on to something. I started using it only a few weeks ago and I have been so impressed. So you know how a lot of times with our under eye is either dark or looks cakey or if we've got we've got some fine lines showing up and I know definitely know I got some fine lines showing up. But we want something to make it smooth, right? So I started using this e.l.f. stick. A daily dew stick. First of all, it's moisturizing. After I do my moisturizer on my face, all over, before I do my foundation, I put this on my under eye all the way down, up into my under eye. I take kind of my um, ring finger, I put it on and kind of like pat it into where the creases would be underneath your eye, the fine lines. I have a bunch of concealers, so I just am using what I have. This is the MAC Studio Fix 24 hour uh, concealer that I just started recently using underneath my eye for um, to make it brighter. But that's what I do next. And then I do my cheeks and then I do everything the rest after that. I noticed a huge difference with my makeup. It looks smoother during the day, it doesn't crease, it doesn't look dry or textury, as textury. It just, it doesn't get rid of it. 
it just improves it. And I think it's like eight bucks, six bucks, I don't know, it's cheap. But it's been amazing. New addition to my makeup routine. But a bunch of you guys were asking about my under eye recently. And it's because I've been started using this. Oh, try it out. See if you like it. Getting gym ready. <laughs> Can't live without our supplements, huh? Nope. All day. Mm. All day, baby. Next breakfast. Avocado, two whole eggs, toast. So this is our new gym for the next, I don't know. Got squat racks, which I'm so excited about. All the free weights. It's a nice little gym here at the apartment. Cable machine, a little cardio machine. Uh, little yoga area. Got this that side area. Park. We are the only ones in here. I'll take it. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning.
stretchy, stretchy. Stretchy, stretchy. <laughs> Any of you guys out there who are traveling for work, uh, for emergencies, kind of like our situation, or you're looking for a place to live, or maybe you're just trying to find accommodations for somebody, or you're on vacation, I mean, any type of accommodation, Hello Landing's awesome in the terms that they have housing place apartments all over the place, and you can find something that fits your needs. And what I also love about Hello Landing is that they have the flexible uh, renting date option. So you have the move, so you don't have to have a move-in date and a move-out date unless you want to. You, depending on what your situation is, you can have that open-ended flexible option, which is what we chose because we don't know how long we're gonna be here. So we needed that. So if that fit our needs specifically. And the other great thing about being at this apartment, we are literally only 10 minutes away from the hospital so the university of utah and the primary children's hospital you're so close literally just go up the street to the top and you're there and hello landing has been so awesome in helping us especially with our situation making sure that we're taking care of making sure it's stress-free and easy they reassured me over and over again you know this is the last thing that we need to be worrying about and stressing about is our living situation especially with leaving our home and leaving and going to a new state. This just randomly happened to pop up uh, in my search for finding a place. Thank you Hello Landing for the stress-free, easy, smooth moving and just this place being fully furnished. That's the other thing, how much is included in here and we really didn't have to pack a whole lot, just our clothes, um, a few, few things from home. When you're moving it's like what do we bring you know so it just it made the whole process so much easier so i encourage you guys if you're in a situation like this or you're looking for something anything along those lines definitely check them out or remember them as a resource for the future for yourself or maybe a family member a friend or anything Just 
like that. <laughs> I want that one. Caricature. We're standing in line for it. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <clears throat> what are you doing? Drop it, you five. We're gonna become cartoons. I'm already a cartoon. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> What'd you get? Is it good? Oh, <laughs> oh mine. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, these are their um, animals that they lost, so they don't have any kids. So their animals are their kids. So all tits. I got a lot of. He probably got it. Probably cleared them out. I got a lot of oh licorice in there. I got a lot of flavors. Good <laughs> job. Don't move! Yeah, right? Hold it. And what are we watching? Man from Toronto. Just got done with some meal prep for the week. So the key is, is trying to stay on routine as much as possible in Salt Lake City, like our routine at home, um, which would be obviously the food, bedtime, <laughs> and workouts, most importantly. But it is actually, it's actually really hot in here. It feels really hot right now, but it's like 85 degrees, but it feels like 90 degrees um, but we are on the ninth floor and the sun's been hitting us for most of the afternoon so we've got some heat uh, <laughs> are you hot too yes like my titties <laughs> let me take my titties ah they're sore <laughs> here's our sunset on the sky escape <laughs> <laughs> so this is what I have done so far. We've got jasmine rice, white rice, we've got brown rice. So all I did was the instant pot that I brought from home. All I did is the water according to how much rice I did and I did like maybe half a teaspoon of oil, olive oil so that they don't stick together. Then we cooked some bison burger seasoned just with salt, pepper, a cumin, and chili powder and then I did chicken breasts just in water and a little bit of olive oil in the instant pot then we've got this uh, spaghetti and meatballs there's a lot of us that has to eat <laughs> are you dancing your titties yes I'm exercising while I'm playing video games <laughs> exercising the titties while you're playing video games <laughs> and the fridge is all stocked with the normal goods of course, we've got our eggs and all the fruit. Got my yogurts, or I'm sorry, my cottage cheese. 
different ones, strawberry, blueberry, and this one. Veggies, yeah. Spinach, next favorite yogurt. And then I got my peanut butters, my almond butters in here. And the reason being, they stay fresher longer, but then they don't separate the oils, which makes it nice because I hate mixing them all the time. So that's why they're in the fridge. So the nice thing about having all this food prepped is you can grab and go and make meals. So like obviously with my vegetables, I'll just like chop up vegetables and maybe even steam them or throw them in the pan, like heat everything up together. So it's just quick grab and go. You're not spending every single day cooking, which is nice. Most oh. stuff's already uh, pre-cooked for you. So I got Sunday meal prep done. Look, here's my cute little sponge holder. I love it. 